watch TV more and more often than you, right? This is where we started, okay? Okay, but uh, thank God for the Lord, okay? Are you grateful for the Lord has done good things in our life? I was thinking about this verse, okay? It says in uh, Psalm 119 and verse 65, it says, You have dealt well with your servant. No? Can we say that to ourselves? God, you have dealt well with me. And then it says, O oh Lord, according to your word, you have dealt with me according to your word. That means every promise that you gave to me came to pass. Okay, so today, even as we think about God's faithfulness, and I was thinking about this week about God's faithfulness, how God has been faithful to each one of us, right? Whether in our workplaces, whether in our job, whether in our lives, whether we are going to situations in our life, God remained faithful, right? And that's that's the God we worship. Even today as we come, as we worship the Lord, you know, thank you for just coming on an evening service. I know you are so well, I just, whenever we change the services, thank you for that. Can you give yourself a big hand? That's really, that's amazing. And thank you for all the food that is made. Thank you very much for being here. It's so tempting to preach from here when I see the uh, yeah, nice smell the aroma, right? And then also, Pooja, thank you for coordinating me. Okay, let's pray and worship the Lord. Father, we just thank you for this beautiful evening. Thank you that you are well, well with us, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness in our lives. That's our evening and give us a beautiful service and the podcast to follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
of every bingo. No mountain can stand before you. No proud boasting can stand before you. No sin can stand before you. Nothing can stand before you, Lord. The name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus, God. Oh, what a privilege it is today for us to be called by that name. We belong to you, Lord. We thank you. Bless our worship, Lord. As we go to the service, Lord, and I hear it as we listen to your word, that true will be an act of worship this evening, Lord. And bless our fellowship also, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. who kept us alive and sustained us for another year, who bestows kindness, restores and redeems. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign over creation, who has chosen us from all the peoples. May your blessings be upon all who seek you earnestly. Bring joy to your land and gladness to your city. In your mercy, bestow on us a prosperous year, a bountiful harvest, and the promised arrival of Mashiach, your anointed one, the son of David. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the call to repentance and grace. And now for the reading and interpretation, we have with us Jesus Bar Joseph. He was one of my students in Torah class and we've heard reports, some of them very positive, of his rabbinic journey. Jesus. Thank you, Rabbi Benjamin. This. Now it's not easy to share in front of Nazareth's most preeminent rabbi. I'll do my best. And I'm certain that uh, if I miss a word or two, one of you at least will speak up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder who it will be. A reading from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captives, and the recovery of sight to the blind, to the opening of the prison for those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. fulfillment of this scripture, as you have heard it, is today. This is the year of the Lord's favor. This is a year of jubilee, a year of the poor, the brokenhearted, the captive, and the blind are offered redemption. Here, 
now. We are with you. Keep going. No bad for a carpenter's son, yes? I mean, especially Joseph. May he rest in peace. Jesus, please explain why he stops reading before Isaiah spoke of the day of vengeance of our God, especially during a time of such oppression. The day of vengeance is in the future. I'm not here for vengeance. I'm here for salvation. You're here for salvation. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. This year of Jubilee, this year of the Lord's favor, is not about release from financial debts. I'm here to provide release from spiritual debt. He was the chosen seed of Abraham. We don't have spiritual debt. Jesus, yes, we were hearing about the signs and wonders. <coughs> now this, are you claiming to be more than a rabbi? More than even the baptizer? No doubt one of you will quote me the proverb, Physician, heal yourself. The things we heard you did in Capernaum and in Syria, do here in your own town. Yes? Why not? I get it. It's always easier to accept hard truths and even greatness from strangers than from those you know well, especially those you knew as awkward teenagers or even as adults, as some of you saw earlier today. Last year would make a more believable prophet. But this brings up an important truth. No prophet is acceptable in his hometown. Be careful with what you call yourself. This should be easy to prove. Dynagraphy. You say you saw it, yes? Yes. Yes, we saw it, but he did not claim this. A true prophet from Adonai would not deny his own people's signs and wonders. Listen carefully. When a great famine hit Israel during the days of Elijah, Three years and six months, there were many widows, yes? And we know how the Father cares for his chosen people, especially widows. But Elijah was sent to none of them, not a one. Instead, he was sent to a widow in Sidon, in Zarephath, a Gentile woman. Martha, what happened? She gave up her last flour and oil for one more cake and gave it to Elijah. Why would she do that? Elijah told her the Lord said to do so. Yes. The Lord said that he would make it so that her flour and oil would never run out. And she believed. A pagan Gentile in a pagan land. And she was hungry enough to know she needed God and to obey him. And so God sent Elijah to multiply her food forever. What about Elijah and Naaman? There were many lepers in Israel during this time. And none of them were cleansed except Naaman. Only a Gentile, a Syrian soldier, an enemy of the Lord's people. But he was so desperate, he trusted Elisha, and his leprosy was cleansed. You may be the chosen seed of Abraham. You may be the people of the covenants, but that will not bring you my salvation. If you cannot accept that you are spiritually poor and captive in the same way that a Gentile woman and a Syrian leper recognize their need,
if you do not realize that you need a year of the Lord's favor. And I cannot save you. Who do you think you are? This is what Hannah talked about. That he even called himself the Messiah. Are you claiming to be the Messiah? Or are you merely claiming to speak for the Lord as a prophet? Yes. You are a false prophet. Poor <laughs> Felix. What do you think you say? Jesus, maybe we should leave. What's our first friend? We cannot be involved. You know what the Lord knows. We are all his friends, Aaron. We cannot say things like this. Jesus, stand up at once. Rabbi, please. Rafi, come with Jesus and me. Oh. We will leave, and you can all continue the service. Rabbi Benjamin has a certain false prophecy. And I cannot understand. You said you saw the miracle. He's saying only he can say. He did not use those words. It's what I meant. Jesus, you're not helping. He's saying we are not the Holy One's chosen. Now, he did not say that. In words, a book of Moses. What's a prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak? That same prophet shall die. Rabbi Benjamin, I beg of you, not this, as us. It's why Jesus they are going to. Jesus, if you do not renounce your words, we will have no choice but to follow the law of Moses. Jesus bowed to us. Because you have repeatedly prophesied falsely and have offered no denial or announcement of your blasphemous claims, there is no need to escalate this to the authorities. Do you stand by all that you said? I think I was pretty clear. No father's that may be listening to this was a righteous man. Your mother is a good woman. You take the pleasure in the shame you are bringing to their name. Not the grief this will bring upon Mary. But as from the law of Moses, whose life and worth you have spat upon today, your sentence is death.
this passage? Anybody remembers which passage is this? Isaiah. Isaiah, okay, you read Isaiah. This passage is from uh, okay, Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 21. Okay. You guys are okay? Fine? Can see this cold? Can somebody switch off the fans? Okay. If you are cold, just don't be distracted. Everybody just raise your hand, okay? Don't look at the AC. AC is not going to stop. <laughs> okay, just tell us, okay? And tell us the AC is cold, you can off, okay? That's the just tell everybody. You know, the anointing is so amazing, right? don't want to make them out. How many of you enjoyed it, that uh, okay, What did you understand about it? Anybody? When did Jesus do this? Can somebody talk? It was in Nazareth. It was in Nazareth. Do you know where it was? Anybody saw this clip before? Or you have seen this before? Okay, Sherry said I saw Okay. What is that Sherry? Can you just give us a little please? When Jesus was teaching the synagogue, he told them who he was. Okay. Very good. It was difficult for them to understand it or accept it. And so he was sentenced to... Why it was difficult for them to understand and accept it? Because they were not expecting him uh, to be a sa the savior as a as he was. They expected something grander. Okay. Anyway, we'll speak the message. Okay. That's good. Okay. But we had a very great time this Friday at our youth time. Okay. We spoke on the three hooks of Satan. Okay. Many of you enjoyed that, right? It was really powerful message. Thank you for all who came in the midst of the rains. And we're going to do it again next month, same date, Friday. We're going to meet again. Okay, is that good? Okay, so it's going to be more of the youth times. I just feel like our next generation need to be invested. Right? Is it right? Because there are so much hunger for the word of God. Okay, so we will be having more times like that. We are also going to begin the Sunday school too. Okay, we will uh, call personally a couple of you and I want you to help us with. Okay. But we see in this passage a very interesting scene where Jesus attends his first synagogue meeting. Okay, and uh, he is grown up in the city of Nazareth. Where people saw him as a carpenter. Okay, they saw him as a son of Joseph. So Jesus is going to do something very amazing in this passage that we just saw. Number one, he marks the very beginning of his ministry. What a way to begin, right? Okay, the ministry begins with a bang. Okay, they wanted him to push him off the cliff. Okay, is that a good way to begin a ministry? Okay, that's where many of many don't want to join ministry. Okay, they enjoy, they enjoy what they're doing. Today a pastor spoke in Nandere. Okay, he said a ministry, Abraham's call began with a conflict. Okay, it started with a conflict. Okay, it started with a conflict. 
the, the conflict a problem? Ek par parishani se shuru hua. Okay, we don't like conflicts, right? We okay. like. Let's have. Let just be like. Don't be serious, okay? We we like conflicts. Okay, I mean, parishani achhi lagti. Thank you, that's it. No question. <laughs> that's true, right? We all don't want to come on. We want to just all of us. We want to have have a smooth ride, right? We want to have a smooth ride on the roads of Mumbai. How many of you want to have a smooth ride on the roads of Mumbai? How many of you want to have a smooth ride? यात्रा चाहिए मुंबई के रोड पे आई वाज ट्रैवलिंग ऑन द रोड्स ऑफ मुंबई इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आई वाज लाइक दिस लाइक दिस लाइक अ यू डोंट हैव टू गो टू रोलर कास्टर लाइक यू कैन गो इन द मुंबई रोड्स और आपको रोलर कास्टर में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर आप मुंबई के रोड पे हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाई यू डोंट हैव टू लुक फॉर अ बैक पेन आपको कमर दर्द को नहीं ढूंढना है जस्ट टेक अ बाइक एंड गो ऑन द रोड्स ऑफ मुंबई आप बाइक लेके जा सकते हैं रोड ओके बट देयर इज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मिनिस्ट्री बिगिंस विद अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट और यहां पे कुछ परेशानी से शुरू हुआ ओके पीपल वांट हैप्पी लाइफ्स राइट लोगों को अच्छा जीवन चाहिए ओके दे डोंट वांट अ लाइफ विदाउट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट उन्हें परेशानियां नहीं चाहिए ओके इन मैरिजेस पीपल डोंट लाइक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स और शादी में भी लोगों को परेशानी नहीं चाहिए ओके दे वांट टू सेल द मैरिज वेरी हैप्पीली उन्हें आसानी से जीना है पर इट हैज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट गॉड हैज पुट अस ऑन द सर्व एंड देयर विल बी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स लेकिन परमिशन है मेरा खाए और परेशानी आई थी बिगन इज मिनिस्ट्री विद अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट और यीशु यहां से परेशानी से शुरू हुआ नंबर 2 जीसस आल्सो इन हिज बिगनिंग ऑफ हिज मिनिस्ट्री आल्सो गोइंग टू शो द फुलफिलमेंट दैट ही इज द फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ द ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट और वो बताना चाहता था कि वो पुराना नियम उसने पूरा किया है एंड देन ही इज गोइंग टू आल्सो रिवील हिज फाइव फोल्ड मिनिस्ट्री ऑन दिस अर्थ और वो अपनी पांच गुना जो है सेवका ही बताना चाहता है ओके डू डू यू नो व्हाट इज क्राइस्ट फाइव फोल्ड मिनिस्ट्री दैट्स व्हाट वी गोइंग टू टॉक टुडे और आज हम पांच सेवका की बात करेंगे ओके बाय द वे वी हैव आल्सो इंद्रजीत विद अस वन न्यू कम अप कैन वी गिव जीत एंड इंद्रजीत अ बिग हैंड और मैं कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग कर रहा हूं पहली बार आया है आई सेड जीत बिकॉज़ जीत व्हाट इन द जीत और जीत ने जो इंटरेस्ट दिखाया है ओके ओके दैट्स अमेजिंग इवन वन वन पर्सन राइट और एक व्यक्ति ओके बिफोर वी गो इनटू द मैसेज आई वांट टू थिंक अबाउट व्हाई जीसस केम ऑन द सर्फ और मैं बताना चाहता हूं कि यीशु क्यों इस धरती पे आए ओके वी नो दैट स्टोरी दैट जीसस came because man failed aur hame pata hai ki yeshu aaya kyunki manushya jo hai man cannot save himself aur wo apne aap ko nahi bacha sakta and that's the only way that god has to come on the earth and die for mankind aur wahi rasta tha ki parmeshwar is dharti pe aaya and he came on the earth and he lived among us and he went through all the temptations that a normal human being goes through aur wo dharti pe aaya aur wo hamare jaise hi usne saha Okay, some things we think God, you also cannot go through the problem that I am going through. Did you ever say that? हम कई बार बोलते परमेश्वर आप नहीं जानते मेरी तकलीफों को. No, but Jesus says I went through everything that you went through. यीशु कहता है मैं भी उस तकलीफ से गया हूँ. Remember he was on the cross. वो क्रूस पे था. You know he went to the excruciation pain in his body. वो बहुत दर्द में जो ही गया. Okay, and and it's the the scholars say it's so easy to get be depressed in that state. और कहते हैं कि वो बहुत आसान होता है उस वक्त हार मान लेना। Okay, but Jesus didn't give up, right? लेकिन यीशु ने नहीं छोड़ा। We are very good give up us. Okay, हम बहुत अच्छे छोड़ते हैं। हम बहुत अच्छे छोड़ते हैं। Okay, one trial we are ready to give up. एक स्थिति में हम छोड़ देते हैं। But Jesus, if you are given up today, you and me will not be here and worshiping the Lord. लेकिन अगर यीशु छोड़ देता तो आज हम यहाँ नहीं होते। Okay, that's the story that Jesus came on this earth. और यही कहानी है। When Jesus came on the earth, he revealed that he is the Messiah that has been spoken in the Old Testament. और उसने बताया कि वही मसीहा है जो पुराने नियम में लिखा गया है। He did miracles and and many events that he did to reveal that show the Jewish people. That he was the promised Messiah as per Isaiah 65 and Isaiah 53. और उसने जो चमत्कार किया और उसने बताया कि वही मसीहा है. And he begins his earthly ministry as he saw in this video today. और वो अपनी सेवा का यहाँ से शुरू करता है. So far Jesus grew up as a carpenter. और यीशु एक कारपेंटर की तरह बड़ा हुआ. Now it's time that he takes a very important role. To convey to the world that is going to be that he is the Messiah. और वो भी पता ना चलता था दुनिया को कि वो मसीह है. Okay, in those days, a visiting Jew is encouraged to come and read the scroll. और वहाँ पे जो यहूदी लोगों को बुलाया जाता था वचन पढ़ने. Okay, so normally it's not that particular verse that Jesus can choose whatever he wants to read. और यीशु ने वो चुना नहीं उसने जो वचन मिला उसे. For the whole year, they already planned what to read. और पूरे साल में वो योजना बनाते थे कि क्या पढ़ेंगे। But when Jesus walked into the synagogue, लेकिन जब यीशु उस मंदिर में आए, his reading was Isaiah chapter 61. उसका जो पढ़ना था वो यशा एक सर्ट था। And I like that verse because it's also mentioned in Luke 
for it says the spirit of the lord is upon me aur aisa tha ki parmeshwar ka aatma mujh par hai because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor kyunki usne mujhe abhishek kiya hai ki main prachar karu he sent me to proclaim release to the captives aur wo mujhe usne jo chudane ke liye mujhe bheja and recover sight to the blind aur aatman andho ko jo aankhe dena and proclaim the favorable year of the lord aur parmeshwar ke aane wale saal ke liye usne and jesus pauses there not only any rabbi would come a visiting rabbi as we saw the rabbi as like the main priest has introduced to him aur hum dekhte hain ki maa yajak jo hai wo batata hai yahudiyon ko jab aaya jesus is the rabbi for today yeshu aaj rabbi hai they bought the they bought the torah in front of them उन्होंने तोरा लाया उसके साथ ओल्ड टेस्टमेंट इट स्टार्टेड रीडिंग और वो पढ़ने लगा सो आफ्टर दे रीड दे सिट ऑन द मोसेस सीट और उसके बाद वो मूसा की कुर्सी पे बैठते एंड आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन टू व्हाट दे हैव रीड और उन्हें वो बताना होता है उन्होंने क्या पढ़ा सो जीसस हिमसेल्फ रीडिंग अबाउट हिमसेल्फ तो यीशु खुद के बारे में पढ़ रहा था कैन यू इमेजिन इमेजिन द सीन और सोचिए उसके बारे में like imagine like he has no fear uske paas kuch dar nahi he is the one who gave the scriptures usne jo hai vachan diya and he is the one fulfilling it aur wo usse pura kar raha hai and he is standing in front of them and he says i am the one who is standing before you is the messiah and i am the one who is fulfilling this prophecy aur wo khada rakha kehta hai ki main hi messiah hu aur maine wo pura kiya and and you can see the the rage of the people around aur aap logo ke gusse ko dekh sakte hain by the way familiarity is a very dangerous thing aur cheezo ko aasani se lena bahut khatarnak ho sakta hai that's the word familiarity we never get familiar with people hum logo ke sath unhe aasani se nahi lete okay every person in this room is valuable har ek vyakti mulyawan hai and so you also value other person aur aap dusre ko bhi aap kimat da bata oh aaj this guy is from basai i know him from 20 years aur ye vyakti basai se hai bhi 20 saal oh i know this man he was a carpenter i seen him growing making my stool my table and everything aur maine dekha ek carpenter tha usne stool banaya mere liye what is the problem problem with the jewish people familiarity can blind us for the truth aur jo ye sachai se hame wo dur kar sakti familiarity can oh another service another message hum keh sakte ki ye dusra oh another worship service aur ek sabha hai we never get that familiar spirit hum wo aatma nahi laate hamare we come with an expectation that god would speak to us hum ummeed leke aate ki parmeshwar sunega no we come that we would meet another brother Okay, in a changed heart. और हम देखते हैं किसी दूसरे व्यक्ति को बदला हुआ रीडर। Oh, I'm not going to see a brother like I saw him in the last week. और मैं उसे पिछले हफ्ते की तरह नहीं देखूँगा। I will see. I believe God has worked in his heart this week. और मेरा विश्वास है परमेश्वर ने काम किया होगा उसके रीडर में। Familiarity is dangerous. और ये आसानी से लेना पड़ता है। And God hates it. परमेश्वर नफरत करता है। God hates familiarity. We need to give respect to each other. और हमें एक दूसरे को आदर देना है। And Jesus said there when he came, he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me, and is anointed me. और उसने कहा कि परमेश्वर का आत्मा मुझ पे है और मुझे अभिषेक किया गया। In Matthew three, when Jesus was baptized, the Father was speaking, "He is my beloved Son." और जब यीशु का बापतिस्म हुआ तो पिता ने कहा, "ये मेरा पुत्र है." Jesus was the one who was being baptized. यीशु का जो बापतिस्म हुआ था। And the Spirit came in the form of the four of a dove. proving that the whole trinity was involved aur aatma jo ek kabutar ke roop mein hai jo batana chahti thi trinity ko and that that is what anointing like jesus and like revealing is anointing aur yeshu apni abhishekta dikha raha hai you know when we become believers aur jab hum vishwasi bante when we put our faith in jesus christ jab hum us par vishwas karte we have the same holy spirit that came upon jesus christ hamare paas wo pavitra aatma hai jo yeshu pe hai i with me today kya aap mere saath ho we have the same holy spirit in us hamare paas wahi pavitra aatma hai we are also bible says are anointed of god bible kehta hai ki hum abhishek kiye gaye don't you neighbor and say i have the holy spirit apne padosh se kaho ki mere paas pavitra aatma hai i am also anointed aur mujhe abhishek kiya gaya this is very important thing aur ye bahut mahatvapurna cheez hai you know when we have anointed जब हम हम अभिषेक किए होते परमेश्वर चाहता है कि हम वो अभिषेक किया हुआ दिखाए और ये महत्वपूर्ण क्योंकि हमारे पास 
the life of Christ to this world. When James and John were angry, they said, let's destroy the city and kill people. What did Jesus say? Yeah. You do not know what spirit are you of. You know what? When we are angry, we are not operating in the spirit of God. When we are angry, when we are operating in the natural life. When we are angry, when we are operating in the natural life. When we are operating in our flesh. When we are operating in our old sin nature. We are not manifesting in spirit of God. 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 How do I know I am walking in the spirit? हम कैसे जाने कि हम आत्मा में चल रहे? My words speak a lot, right? मेरे वचन बोलते हैं, मेरे शब्द। You know this is very very important. और ये महत्वपूर्ण है। Like in a church, you can come and then you can speak to somebody and say, this man or this woman has a walk with God. और हम चर्च में आके कह सकते हैं, ये व्यक्ति जो परमेश्वर के साथ चल रहा है। did you ever recognize that in the church sometimes? क्या आपने कभी ये पहचान है? Come on, raise your hand. Yes. और क्या आपने ये पहचान है? You spoke to somebody and you said like this. This is really from God. और आपके किसी से बात की आप कहते हैं परमिशन से? Did you? और क्या आपने? Raise your hand. Did you? Did you also experience somebody speaking naturally? और क्या आप अनुभव करते हैं कि कोई तो स्वाभाविक बात कर रहा है? Said something not edifying. Or किसी ने तो कुछ कहा जो बढ़ावा नहीं देता. Come on, raise your hand. Did you experience that? कि आपने अनुभव किया. If you are a mature Christian, like Mary, you keep things in your heart. और अगर मरीम की तरह परिपक्व है तो आप रखो क्या अपने. By the way, there are two ways when the word condemnation is used. और दो रास्ते जो एक दंड के. Okay, remember Romans 8 says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Oh, that means you know what? There are two things. Okay, number one. Oh, पहली चीज. You shouldn't condemn anybody. आप किसी को दोष मत लगाओ. That is the number one. वो पहला. Okay, you are not supposed to condemn anybody because now they are nobody. और कोई तो दोष नहीं है कि इस पर आप कैसे दोष लगा सकते हैं? Can we do that? क्या आप कर सकते हैं? No. Can I ask somebody where are you? What is happening in your life? That's none of your business, right? और क्या मैं पूछ सकता हूँ कि आप कहाँ हो? क्या क्या हो रहा है आपके जीवन में? Who are you to ask? आप कौन हो पूछ रहे हैं? Number two, even if somebody is walking naturally and says statements like that. You shouldn't be condemned. और अगर कोई स्वाभाविक रूप में बात कर रहे हैं तो आपको दोष नहीं लगेगा। There's a two way. First of all, your words आपके शब्द shouldn't condemn nobody. किसी को दोष नहीं लगेगा। Number one, even if the natural man speaks और अगर वो स्वाभाविक रूप में बात कर रहे हैं। You are a spirit of man or woman. You need to walk away. आपको जो है वहाँ से निकल जाना है। What did Jesus do in the story? यीशु ने क्या किया यहाँ पे? You walked. वो चला गया। He doesn't want to speak to the natural man। उसे साबरी के रूप में बात नहीं करना है मनुष्य से। Are you listening today? I just a seed thought from there, okay? I thought it's just a side thought। और मैंने जस्ट एक ख्याल बताया वहाँ पे। Don't leave a church because somebody said something in this church। और चर्च मत छोड़े क्योंकि किसी ने कुछ कहा। Understood? Because number one that man is not, that woman is not walking in the spirit. वो व्यक्ति आत्मा में नहीं चल रहा। Number two, now there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. अभी आप right ऊपर धन के आगे नहीं। This is very important. Are you with me so far? Okay, is it helping you? और क्या आपकी मदद कर रहा है? Turn to your neighbour and say, is it making any sense what he's talking? और आप वो ही क्या ये कुछ मायने रखता है? By the way, our job as a pastor. And as leaders, और एक पास्टर और एक एक लीडर का काम। If you are a leader, अगर आप एक लीडर अगुए हो, never force people to do something। और किसी को कुछ जोर मत लगाइए वो कि तू वो कुछ करे। और एक चीज़ है। God has given us a free volition। परमिशन ने हमें एक स्वयं की इच्छा दी है। You know what is स्वयं की इच्छा means? ओके आपको पता ही है। that means God, I said this in one of the services this week. How many? How many? How many? The free volition means that 
like that god could have stopped adam and eve from sinning right also in ki che ki parmeshwar ruk sakta tha adam aur eva right in the deeds and this said right and then god could have even take away that fruit in that garden parmeshwar wo phal bhi nikal sakta tha why did he keep the fruit and why didn't he stop kyu usne wo phal rakha aur ruka nahi why kyu yeah to test us to test us very good and yeah. also god has given us a free choice permission of me so in ki ichha thi right free choice today you have a free choice to come to church or not come right aapke paas ichha hai ki aap church aao ya but you are spiritual you made that decision to be here today lekin aatmik roop mein aapne wo faisla liya aane ka right but we never force anybody because it's a free when we do that we are breaking one of the great thing that god gave to human being aur agar ye kehte to hum ye wo tod rahe jo parmeshwar ne kaha understood each one will stand and fall before god who am i to judge right har ek vyakti parmeshwar ke samne khade hai yes we don't know what is happening in people's life do i know we don't know sometimes people genuinely couldn't come or couldn't do certain things aur kai baar log nahi aa pate that's okay wo theek hai but we leave it to god give them a benefit of doubt right lekin hum parmeshwar par chhod de i'm not here to ask people and violate what god has given us right, right? puchunga nahi logo se because bible also says in second corinthians 5 and everybody has to stand before god one day bible ke the har ek ko parmeshwar ke samne khada rehna hai and thank god there will be nobody next to you aur dhanyawad aapke paas mein koi nahi ho it is between you and jesus christ wo aap aur yeshu masi ho you can jesus is like you now going to have a personal conversation with you ye jo aapke sath vyaktigat baat karega and he could know exactly what is happening in your heart right aur wo janega aapke hriday mein kya hai is that a good deal good lesson to learn today aur kya hai acha hai only say it's a good lesson can we give god a hand for that <laughs> my job as a pastor is to encourage you aur mera kaam hai i will keep sending your services i will be asking you how are you doing where are you all well with you can i pray for you that's my job Omni Omni work really diligently at your workplace. Aur kitne log acche se kaam karte hain apni jagah par kaam pe. You have to right you have to work diligently. Karna padta hai. I took up this job my job is to follow people. Go after the sheep. Maine kaam liya hai ki main logo ke piche jaa. You like it or not but somebody else does that without that is a dangerous thing right? Lekin agar koi aur karta hai to wo khatarnak hai. Without the spirit of God okay that's why you need to unless cast a point somebody and says this person is called so and so right aur par jab pastor jo ya kisko bolta hai to very important because these are principle especially when we are a small church we can very get easily offended right aur hum jo bura maan sakte hain right is in a big church you don't worry who is doing what nobody knows even pastor doesn't know right who comes and who goes aur badi church mein nahi hota hai Okay, when you have a congregation of 60, 70 people, everybody knows everything. Or 60, 70 log hai to sab jaante hai dusre ko. And people, they have nobody to talk, so they just come to the same person again and again and talk, right? Or log jay baat karte hai. In a 200 people church, they just walk hi bye and go away because you. Today I was in Nandiri. I was saying hi to somebody by the time and somebody else knocked at my door, my back and said hi. I forgot this man and I went here, right? <laughs> happens or ye hota hai when a house is small there will be conflicts jab ghar chhota hota hai to this is my bed this is my my place right ye 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 house is small ye meri jagah hai when you have a big home you don't have to worry you have your own room jab aap bada ghar hota hai to aapko chinta ki zarurat nahi when you are small and this is where god puts us to grow in the body of christ aur parmeshwar hame rakhta hai ki hum bade anyway this come back to the message jesus five fold ministry और यीशु की पांच गुना वाली ओके नंबर 1 जीसस सेड माय फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑन दिस अर्थ इज टू प्रीच द गुड न्यूज़ टू द पुअर यीशु ने कहा पहली सेवा है कि वो सुसमाचार दे दैट्स अमेजिंग व्हेन जीसस वाज ऑन द अर्थ व्हाट वाज हिज मिशन यीशु का मिशन क्या था इस धरती पर दिस वीक आई वेंट टू अ बाबर टू माय चिल्ड्रन फॉर हेयर कट और ये हफ्ते में बाल काटने वाले के पास गया ओके एंड अर्लियर वंस आई वेंट टू हिम एंड आई शेयर्ड द गॉस्पेल ही कम्स फ्रॉम मुस्लिम बैकग्राउंड और मैंने उससे पहले यीशु समाचार दिया था एंड ही ही वाज नॉट देयर फॉर वन मंथ दैट्स व्हाई हेयर्स वर ग्रोन अ लॉट और वो एक महीने नहीं था व्हेन ही केम बैक एंड ही सेड सर आपसे भी आप मुझे कुछ बोलना है फिर उसने कहा कि मुझे कुछ बोलना है सो देन ही ही शोड मी अ पिक्चर उसने मुझे एक चित्र दिखाया। I went to Uttarakhand. 
Oh, my, 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 my wife's sisters were my wedding. And then I attended one church. And I remember you. Then I took the pictures of the church. And then he showed it to me. It's amazing, right? You share, you sow the seed and God is working in that person's life. And then because of the topic, I again got to share the gospel with और मैंने फिर उसके साथ से समाचार दिया। That's the work of the spirit. Never stop doing. और आप रुकिए मत। Okay, Jesus did the same thing, right? He would not spare anybody. यीशु किसी को नहीं छोड़ता था। No, I had a, a lady in our church in Andheri. I remember she would have tracks in her bag. Every she takes rickshaw for everything. और and every rickshaw guy would get a track. और हर एक रिक्शा वाले को एक स्त्री थी जो ट्रैक देती। She would not first give him the track and then give him the money. और पहले वो ट्रैक देती थी फिर पैसा दे। Okay, we would not spare anybody. When Jesus was on the earth, his years were limited, only three and a half years. और यीशु के पास सिर्फ साढ़े तीन साल थे। How many believe? How many more years he will live? Only, only few of us know, right? और किसको पता है हम कितना जीएंगे? Like anybody knows? क्या किसको पता है? Nobody knows. किसी को नहीं। Jesus said nobody knows. यीशु ने कहा किसी को नहीं पता। Today, there, tomorrow, gone. That's why Jesus took the three and a half years to minister to people. He met the Jackass, shared the gospel. He met the Samaritan woman, he shared the gospel. Like in heaven, we don't have to do this. Do you know that? Like in heaven, we don't have to do this. Do you know that? Are you listening today? In heaven, you don't have to give tracks. You don't have to give tracks. You don't have to save people in heaven. आपको बचाना नहीं लोग। Because only saved people are in heaven. तो किसी बचाए गए लोग वहाँ पे रहेंगे। And that's a good thing. Whenever you tell people about Jesus, you are giving that person an opportunity to believe Jesus and be in heaven. जब भी आप यीशु के बारे में बता रहे हैं, तो आप उसे मौका दे रहे हैं, विश्वास करने का। Whether that person believes or not is the second thing. When you give a track, when you tell somebody, you are bringing the gospel into the ears. वो विश्वास कर रहे हैं नहीं कर रहे हैं वो दूसरी चीज़ है लेकिन आप बता रहे हैं। और ये अब तो जो है बहुत अच्छा आउटरीच था बारिश। और हमें जो बारिश और लोग सोच रहे थे कौन है ये लोग जो ट्रैक्स बांटे हैं? वो आदिस पुलिस पीपल। वो कौन है ये बेवकूफ लोग? वो आदिस पुलिस पीपल। टच एंड नेवर इस Giving out tracks in a rainy day, right? How many of you think these foolish people like to just sit at home and eat pakoras with their wives? Right? Everybody have a choice. I'm serious today. Then do you have a burden like Jesus has? Or क्या आपके पास वो बोझ है जो यीशु के पास था? I don't have to tell you to come. और मुझे नहीं आना. You don't have to come. आपको नहीं आना. But I'm asking you tonight. लेकिन मैं पूछ रहा हूँ. Do you have a burden? Because Jesus said, "I came to this earth to preach the good news." Yeshu ne kaha, "Main so samachar dena hai." I came to preach the good news. Main prachar karna hai. This week we had Mandi and different places. Yusuf was preaching the gospel in Himachal Pradesh. Or ye apte Yusuf jo Himachal Pradesh mein so samachar paake. Last two weeks back. Do apte pehle. Today the news the whole Mandi area and the Soli area in Himachal. और राजू पूरा भाग जो है वो पानी में डूब गया। I don't know how many people died that got the opportunity to hear the gospel। मुझे भी पता कितने लोगों को मौका मिला वचन सुनने का। क्या बच्चों जीसस ने कहा, I come you to give freedom for the prisoners। और यीशु ने कहा कि मैं कहती हूँ को आजादी देना है। Today people are in bondage। आज लोग जो है बंदिश में। Do you know that? क्या आपको पता है? People are bondage to alcohol। लोग जो ये शराब से जो ये वो बंदी हैं। People are bondage to television। और लोग टीवी में बंदिश में। People are bondage to relatives। और वो रिश्तेदारों के बंदिश में। No, I am serious. Like because of relatives, they can't do certain things। और रिश्तेदारों से वो कर चीजें नहीं कर सकते। They are bondage। वो बंदिश में। They are bondage to the religious system। वो एक धर्म में जो ये बंदे हुए। They are bondage to drugs, smoking। वो ड्रग्स में स्मोकिंग में बंदे हुए। They are bondage to women। 
वो स्त्रियों में जो बंधे दे आर आल्सो बॉन्डेड टू जॉब्स वो काम में जो बंधे दे कांट डू एनीथिंग फॉर द लॉर्ड समटाइम्स इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द जॉब्स दैट दे चूज वो नहीं कर सकते परमेश्वर के लिए क्योंकि वो काम है और मैं जो एक पॉलिसी बेच रहा था ये हफ्ते and i've been following up on this person for long long time aur main lambe samay se uske sath follow up kar raha hu isme bhi call me aur ye apne usne call kiya and says uh, can you just explain to me about what you've been calling me for long time aur usne kaha kya aap mujhe bata sakte ho jo aap bata rahe the itne time what happened he said i took a holiday today aur usne kaha ki maine chutti di why what happened suddenly you took a holiday for the world aur maine pucha kyu aapne chutti liya acha he told me this story और उसने कहा कहानी पता है ही सेड माय कोलीग वाज ऑफ माय सेम एज और कह रहा था मेरा जो काम करने वाले एक साथ व्यक्ति है बट दे वी वर अबाउट 32 एंड 3 इयर्स ओल्ड हम बत्तीस तीस साल से जो है दोस्त हैं टू डेज बैक ही गॉट ही गॉट हार्ट अटैक एंड ही डाइड और दो दिन पहले उसको हार्ट अटैक आकर वो मर गया आई वाज शॉक आई कुडंट आई कुडंट गेट आउट ऑफ वो कह रहा था मैं उससे बात कर रहा हूं स्टैंड इज शैटर्ड ही हैड यंग चिल्ड्रन उसके पास जो बच्चे थे और परिवार है एंड आई गॉट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर द गॉस्पेल और मुझे मौका मिला कि मैं यीशु से समाचार दूं एंड आई आल्सो गेव हिम द पॉलिसी और मैंने पॉलिसी भी दी ही इज स्केयर्ड ऑफ हिज लाइफ राइट वो डरा हुआ है अपने जीवन से सेड आई नीड इट आई नीड इट फॉर माय फैमिली व्हाट हैपेंस इफ आई डाई उसने कह रहा मुझे जरूरत है इस and it's so important to think about it like god the people are bondage to the jobs sometimes or no jo they don't know they don't have time with their families their marriages their children before they could do anything they are no more on the earth aur wo kaam mein bande hain log aur wo kuch karne se pehle wo aaj mar jate hain life god has given us to enjoy it right parmeshwar ne jeevan diya taaki hum aanand le we could enjoy and god has given us not just life but life in abundance so parmeshwar ne bhar puri ka jeevan diya like he just said i i am giving you i i would give you like i freed you indeed aur wo kehta hai ki maine aazadi di hai tumhe like today we are 75 years of aazadi do you think you truly got aazadi और आज 75 साल में आजादी को क्या बट ही जस्ट सेड बट आई गिव यू फ्रीडम इनडीड यीशु कहते हैं मैंने आपको यू बिलीव इन मी यू विल हैव लाइक फ्रीडम इनडीड वो कहते हैं आपको आजादी मिलेगी सच में दैट्स व्हाट क्राइस्ट कुड डू ही कैन ब्रेक एनी बॉन्डेज वो कोई भी बंदिश आई गेव टू फ्री द प्रिजनर्स और मैं आजादी देने आया हूं इन दैट अमेजिंग वी हैव अ गॉस्पेल हमारे पास व्हाट व्हाट फ्रीज द पीपल ऑफ बॉन्डेज लोगों को क्या मुक्त करता है is the gospel so samajh right it's a gospel is a gospel that changed the woman who had five husbands right so samajh ne us streak ko badla jis ke paas paanch husband the jackie was bondage to money and earning money it is a gospel of jesus changed him the case jo paiso mein tha lekin usne vachan usse badla matthew the tax collector was bondage to his job but jesus came and shared the gospel and called him for a bigger call matthew jo bandish mein tha lekin yeshu ne usse bula Thirdly, Jesus said, "I came to give sight to the blind." उसने कहा मैं अंधों को रोशनी देना है. Jesus healed people of physical and spiritual blindness. यीशु ने लोगों को शारीरिक और आत्मिक तौर पर चलाया. God prayed God that their eyes would be opened. Paul उसने कहा उनकी आंखें खुल जाएं. Like people today are blinded, that Satan has put a curtain in front of their eyes. They can't see the things of God. शैतान ने लोगों के सामने एक पर्दा डाला और देख नहीं सकते. As we need people who would pray. इसलिए हमें लोगों की जरूरत है जो कहते हैं आई कैन टू गिव साइट टू द ब्लाइंड उसने कहा मैं अंधों को रोशनी वी आर ऑल ब्लाइंड वॉकिंग इन आवर ओन वे हम सब जो अंधे थे बट क्राइस्ट केम एंड गिव अस द साइट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल मसी आके उसने हमें रोशनी दी आदमी एंड वी फाइंड क्राइस्ट आईज आर ओपन जब हमने उसे पाया तो हमारी आंखें खुली दैट देयर इज अ हेल देयर इज अ हेवन कि एक स्वर्ग के और नरक है आई नेवर न्यू फॉर 22 इयर्स आई डिडंट नो देयर इज अ हेल देयर इज अ हेवन भाई सर मुझे नहीं पता था माय रिलीजन थॉट वन डे यू विल डाई एंड यू विल बिकम अ रैट और मेरे दर ने कहा कि एक दिन आप मर के जो एक चूहे बन जाओगे द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आफ्टर रैट यू विल बिकम अ एंट उसके बाद आप चीटी बनोगे इफ इवन एज अ गुड एंट यू आर नॉट अ गुड एंट देन यू विल बिकम अ डोंकी अगर आप अच्छी चीटी नहीं तो आप आर नॉट अ गुड डोंकी देन यू विल बिकम अ डॉग और उसके बाद आप जो कुत्ता बनोगे एंड इफ नॉट यू विल बिकम अ मस्किटो देन एनीबॉडी कैन किल यू और अगर नहीं तो आप एक मच्छी बनोगे और इफ यू आर लिव्ड अ गुड लाइफ देन यू विल बिकम अ गुड मैन वन डे और अगर आपने अच्छा जीवन जिया तो आप एक व्यक्ति बन गए बट आई डिडंट नो देयर वाज अ हेवन एंड हेल अंटिल आई केम टू नो जीसस माय आईज वर ओपन और मेरी आंखें जो है खुल गई उसके बाद 
Christ is opens eyes, right? Hell is real, heaven is real, and God has saved us from those things. Then Jesus also said, I came to release the oppressed or depressed. जो मानसिक रूप में मैं उन्हें चंगाई देने आया हूँ। इधर अमेजिंग गॉड, लाइक अ बिलीवर शुड नेवर से इज डिप्रेस्ड। मुझे विश्वास से कभी नहीं कहे कि मैं मानसिक तनाव में हूँ। कैन यू बी डिप्रेस्ड? क्या आप तनाव में रहते हैं? द लाइफ ऑफ़ क्राइस्ट इज़ इन यू। मसीह का जीवन। जीसस सेड आई गिव यू लाइफ � not the physical life. सिर्फ शारीरिक जीवन नहीं। The word abundant life is a life that beyond the physical life, beyond the bias life. पर पूरी जीवन मतलब शारीरिक जीवन से भी ऊपर। It's a zoe life that Christ gives us. वो एक zoe life है। We can just have a happy life, right, with Christ? हाँ, मैं बस एक अच्छा जीवन हो सकता है। Can a believer be sad? क्या एक विश्वासी दुखी हो सकता है? दुखी हो सकता है। Yes, in our in our whole nature, in our emotions, we can be sad. But Christ is there with us, right? He can quicken us. And He could give us joy. We have experienced that, right? Aparna, you have experienced that, right? You gave us a testimony here. God has done that, right? Permission ne kiya. God gives freedom. परमेश्वर जो है आजादी देता है। He releases the oppressed। वो लोगों को छुड़ाता है जो बंदिश में। There's nothing that Christ cannot do। और मसीह कुछ भी ऐसा भी जो नहीं कर सकता। And then Christ says, I came to talk to you about the year of the Lord। और वो कहता है कि मैं आपको पर प्रभु का साल दिखाने आया। Oh, people say, you know what, Pastor, I will die one day and I'll be in heaven। और वो कहते हैं कि Pastor मैं मर जाऊँगा एक दिन और सर। God didn't make you die and live one day in heaven. Of course, because if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you will be in heaven. But God has made us for something more. He made us to be rulers with him for the thousand years reign. He made us to be rulers with him for the thousand years reign. Then there will be no parties like we have today in this India. But you will be in Natasha and you will be in Neelam and these people will be ruling because they walked and followed God for a thousand years. And the principles of God. और वो लोग जो परमेश्वर में चले वो राज करेंगे। In this earth that we have 70, 80, maybe some of us will live for 100 and 105, 110. और शायद हो सकता है कुछ लोग 100, 105, 110 साल जिए। How many of you believe that? कितने लोग विश्वास करते हैं? You know that you can laugh at it, but Tata AI believes in that and they give policy for 110 years. और Tata जो है 110 साल तक का policy देता है। Isn't that amazing? Unsaved people could believe. What about believers? अविश्वासी लोग विश्वास कर सकते हैं लेकिन विश्वासी की बात नहीं क्या? Isn't it? We will live on this earth. This is over. और ये खत्म होगी। But we have an eternal life. लेकिन हमारे पास अनंत जीवन है। There will be a thousand years reign where Christ will be the king. और ये कज़र साल होगा जहाँ पे मसीह राज करेगा। Okay, there will be no, there will be no like no like Shindes and Powers who are breaking the countries or states, right? It will be a perfect government. Because it will be ruled by the perfect people who are without sin. Christ came to talk about the thousand years reign. मसीह आया ताकि वो बताएं। He is often met on the people on the streets, and the kingdom of the Lord is here. और उसने कहा कि परमेश्वर का राज ही आता है। I'm going to talk about that today, right? मैं उसके बारे में बात करूँगा। Christ says that's what all about this life is. Don't worry what problems you have in your life. ये मत देखिए क्या परेशानी है। But what God has for you is more important, right? परमेश्वर के पास जो। I could have hundred things here, but God has the other things. सौ चीजें हो सकती हैं लेकिन परमिशन के पास और हैं। I could have least many problems. God says I am bigger than those problems. परमिशन के अंदर मैं समस्या। Seek the things up above. सौ की चीज पर ध्यान। Did you ever, did you in a small when your mom keeps the tubers of snacks? Remember snacks? Did you know that you just go up and try to just try to take it? और अब snacks का डब्बा चुरा लिया। I buy above, right? निकालना चाहता हूँ। I got a big hurt on my leg when I was small because of that. और मेरे पैर में जो चोट लगी थी उसका। I remember this, right? We want to seek things above. God has something very good. पर विश्व के पास कुछ अच्छा। What happens? A little child wanted to grab it. He knows there's something yummy there. उस बच्चे को पता है कुछ तो है वहाँ पे खाने। 
He doesn't know anything, but he just trusts that mom has kept something great there. Pata hai par, kuch to rakha hai pe khane ke liye. Right? And we believe that. Aur hum vishwas karte hain. We have not seen the thousand years, but Christ said, "I kept something amazing for you." Humne hazar saal nahi dekha hai, lekin Masih ne kaha. I believe it by faith. Main vishwas karta hu. And I seek the things of. I have a problem. Main pas parishan hu. My problem is I'm too short. Aur main chota hu. But I couldn't reach that. Main nahi pahunch paunga. Jack, Jack is a short man. He climbed the tree. Jack is chota tha, usne pa, wo peed chada. Then can you climb your, your above your problems and seek God? Kya aap samasya se upar chhod sakte ho? Or all like you talk about, you meet people all about their problem, about themselves. Ya fir aap sirf wo khud ke baare mein batate ho? Now you can just write a book right in front of them. In fifteen minutes, they finish four hundred pages of the story. It's all about them. और वो खुद के बारे में है डिड यू एवर हेड दैट स्टोरी क्या आपने वो कहानी पढ़ी ओके इट्स मिस्टर किशोर एंड किशोर एंड किशोर एंड किशोर एंड किशोर एंड किशोर 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 एंड ऑल दैट इज अबाउट व्हाट किशोर और उसी से उसके बारे में एट द एंड ऑफ इट यू कम आउट ऑफ द रूम माय गॉड आई हर्ड सो मच अबाउट किशोर वेयर इज जीसस गॉड और आप तो ये कि यीशु कहां गया Where is Jesus gone? Yeshu kahan gaya? It's all about Kishor. Wo sirf Kishor ke baare mein. Come on, let's talk about Christ. Aur hum Masih ke baare mein baat karte hain. Let's talk about he is anointed us. Usne hame abhishek kiya. Those in today Christ has given us the spirit in us. Masih ne hame aatma diya. He is anointed us. Usne abhishek kiya. How can I live every day in that anointing? Main kis tarah usme jiyu? When I allow the Holy Spirit to rule my life. Jab main pavitra aatma ko raaj kar lete hain. We are capable to rule our lives very well, right? हम अपना जीवन चला सकते हैं। We are so good at ruling our lives। हम अच्छे हैं इसमें। Okay, everyone is a ruler by the way। हर एक व्यक्ति राज कर सकता है। Okay, we don't need anybody, especially God, I don't need। और परमेश्वर की तो जरूरत है। I know what to do with my life, I know when to live, when to die, when to go, when to not go। और मुझे पता है मैं क्या जाऊँ या नहीं जाऊँ। I am Mr. Kishore। और मैं Mr. Kishore। I know all things। मुझे सब पता है। I'm just taking my day because I don't get offended. Right? We are very capable to rule our lives without the spirit. Or if we are not able to rule our lives without the spirit, then without the spirit, then we will be angry. Or if we are not able to rule our lives, we are jealous. We are jealous. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. We are upset because things didn't work the way we wanted. In the video, God upset with Jesus. Or why are you these people angry? 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 Angry We get upset. Why God did this to me? By the way, as Shalom preached a wonderful message this week, God don't have to do anything to you and me. But we should do much. Not to do anything. You have to do it. Pastor Shalom did not do it. Very good message. Go and hear those messages. You, you don't have to do anything. Much not to do. What did you do to the Lord? What did you do to the Lord? Write down on page and give it to me at the service. What did you do? What did you do to the Lord? God created one man and he messed up. परमेश्वर एक व्यक्ति बनाया और उसने सभी और आज व्यक्ति पूछता है कि परमेश्वर आपने क्यों किया है और एक व्यक्ति से मिला चर्च में जो बीमार था कोविड में उन्होंने उसे गलत मेडिसिन दिया उसने दोनों आंखें खो दी अपने Whole body he became very weak. और वो बहुत कमजोर हो गया. But he comes every Sunday to church. लेकिन वो हर हफ्ते चर्च आता है. And I spoke to him, how are you doing? और मैंने पूछा आप कैसे हो? Are you fine with all that? I was a help. और मैंने पूछा आपका कैसा है? You know what did he say? Sherry was there next to me. और उसने क्या कहा मुझे? He said this is nothing, Pastor. उसने कहा ये कुछ भी नहीं. What God gave is greater than all that I lost. Permission ने जो दिया है वो उससे भी बढ़के है. Oh, you lost something? और क्या आपने कुछ खोया? It's okay to lose something. ठीक है. For the sake of the Lord, right? Sometimes if you make things idle in your life, God will take those idols in your life. और अगर आप कुछ चीजों को मूर्ति बनाएंगे तो परमेश्वर ले लेगा वो. 
God doesn't like idols. Parmeshwar ko murti nahi pasand. Okay, we are the Holy Spirit. We are to allow the Holy Spirit to walk and rule in our lives. Aur hum pavitra atma ko raj karne de chhod. Hamare jeevan mein when, when the spirit is manifested in our lives. Jab atma hamare jeevan mein phal laati hai. Closing the bridge the good news. हम प्रचार करते हैं। We don't stop. Our mouths cannot stop about telling people about good news. हमारे मुंह जो है नहीं रुकता वो अब बताने से। Okay, we we meet any mechanic, any plumber who comes to our way, we will share the gospel, right? जो भी हमारे रास्ते में आता है, उसे उसे समझा देते हैं। We have the words of news. हमारे पास शब्द हैं। We release people from 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 bondages by the words of encouragement hum logo ko prosaan ke shabd se unhe chhoda diya you know that the word of god has power to remove all the bondages parmeshwar ke shabd vachan mein taakat hai do you believe that kya vishwas karte ho 6000 demons left that man just by the word of jesus do you start mein jo ek shabd se wo nikal gaya usme se right that's how much god's word can do और परमेश्वर का वचन यही कर सकता है बहुत बात कीजिए। परमेश्वर से बात करो और उसके बारे में बताओ बिकॉज इज वर्ड एज पावर राइट क्योंकि उसके वचन में सामर्थ है जब हम आत्मा में चलते हैं तो हम वो आंखें खोल सकते हैं। Any story in the Bible in Acts chapter eight? Remember Philip was walking in the spirit. Philip आत्मा में चल रहा था। And he was taken away by the spirit to the Ethiopian eunuch who was struggling, and Philip opened his eyes. और फिलिप ने उस यूनक का जो आंखें खोला। Okay, when you are walking in the spirit, people don't have to tell you what to do. You will do it by the spirit. जब वो आत्मा में चलोगे तो आप ही करोगे। You don't have to tell people do this, come to Bible college, come to this. You are walking in the spirit, you will do it. अगर आत्मा में चल रहे तो आप वो करोगे। You have priorities set in your life. आपके पास प्राथमिकता होगी। I don't have to send so many. There will be one day I believe in this church. Where I have to don't have to send SMSs anymore. People will just come. Oh, my God! So you believe that? So she is a sweet lady, right? Amazing. We would believe that. Oh, my God! Because spirit, because we are all going to walk in the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because we are all going to walk in the leading of the Holy Spirit. When we walk in the Spirit, we can release any kind of oppression that people go through. और जब हम आत्मा में चलेंगे तो हम लोगों को छुड़ा सकते हैं। ना इफ यू वॉकिंग इन द स्पिरिट एंड आस्क इन माय नेम यू कैन मूव अ माउंटेन फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दैट प्लेस। यीशु ने कहा कि मेरे नाम में आप पहाड़ हिला सकते हो यहाँ से वहाँ। God Jesus said that right? यीशु ने कहा। Anything too difficult? क्या कुछ कठिन है उसके लिए? God keep doing. I met a person today again like I remember ten years back me and Sherry prayed for that couple who didn't have children for long long time. और दस साल पहले हमने किसी व्यक्ति की मदद की थी जिनके पास बच्चे नहीं थे। We prayed, we prayed for them. हमने प्रार्थना की थी। Last this year, in the beginning of this year, they had a baby. और इस साल में उनको जो एक बच्चा था। And the father was telling me how joyful to have the children around me. Thank you, Pastor. पिता कह रहा था मुझे खुशी होती है उस बच्चे को देखके। Lord God can answer our prayers. When you are in the spirit, you can pray. जब हम आत्मा में तो आप प्रार्थना कर सकते हैं। Finally, when we manifest the spirit of God. जब हम परमेश्वर की आत्मा को दर्शाते हैं no, हम राज्य में चलते हम इस सौ साल का नहीं देखते जो हम जीवित हैं। हम उस शहर को देखेंगे जिसको बांधने वाला परमेश्वर अब्राम ने उस चिंता नहीं की उस जगह के उससे नहीं पता देखा कि कितना प्रॉपर्टी है उसका। ओके, ही वाज नॉट लुकिंग बैक। वो पीछे नहीं देखा। ही वाज लुकिंग टू द सिटी, गॉड इज़ द बिल्डर। वो उस शहर को देख रहा था जिसने जो परमिशन ने बनाया। सिंस वी बिलीव। और जब हमने विश्वास किया। वी हैव द स्पिरिट। हमारे पास आत्मा है। एंड वी कूड मैनिफेस्ट द स्पिरिट by allowing the Holy Spirit to control my life. और हम यह दर्शा सकते हैं पवित्र आत्मा की जाने। And Jesus said, "This is my ministry." यीशु ने कहा, "ये मेरी सेवा है." And He has given us that today. Jesus is not physically available like we saw in the video. और यीशु आज शारीरिक तौर पे नहीं है यहाँ पे। But you and me, God has placed us. लेकिन उसने हमें रखा यहाँ पे। You know, He put us a spirit in us. उसने हमारे अंदर आत्मा रखी है। He has anointed us. उसने अभिषेक किया। To do the same things. 
that Christ would do. कि वही चीज करे जो यीशु कर सकता है. Because many things that we that Jesus told will not be needed in heaven. क्योंकि जो यीशु they don't have to do these things in heaven. और आप तो ये चीजें स्वर्ग में करने की जरूरत नहीं. This is the time to do. यही समय. Ask God today. परमेश्वर को. I want to pray as you close your eyes, bow bow your heads. और मैं आंखें बंद करूँ. I want you to pray in your heart today. मैं चाहता हूँ अपने हृदय में प्रार्थना करूँ. Say God, what is something that you have for me? कहिए परमेश्वर क्या है मेरे लिए आपके परमेश्वर के पास बुला के मैं कैसे इस्तेमाल करूँ पूछे क्या मैं बाइबल स्कूल ले सकता हूँ इस सेमेस्टर या यूथ टाइम या और एक या मैं चर्च में किसी पे प्रे दिस प्रेयर इन योर हार्ट आई बिलीव गॉड विल आंसर योर प्रेयर इफ योर हार्ट योर प्रेयर इज जेन्युइन मैं विश्वास से परमेश्वर सुनने का इसके थैंक यू जीसस देयर इज एनीबॉडी हियर हु नेवर बिलीव्ड इन जीसस अगर यहां पे कोई है जिसने कभी भी विश्वास नहीं किया यीशु के योर फर्स्ट टाइम यार आप पहली बार आए एंड नेवर बिलीव्ड जीसस और आपने विश्वास नहीं माय फ्रेंड यू आर हियर नॉट बाय एक्सीडेंट और आप यहां पर कोई एक्सीडेंट से नहीं हो गॉड हैज ब्रॉट यू हियर परमेश्वर ने आपको याद रखा है ताकि वो आपको पता है यीशु समाचार सो दैट यू वुड बिलीव एंड बी विद हिम वन डे इन हेवन ताकि आप विश्वास से कि उसके साथ स्वर्ग में रहो वन डे थैंक यू ऑल दैट यू नीड टू नो दैट जीसस पेड फॉर योर सिंस ये आपको जानने की यीशु ने आपके पापों का भुगतान किया ही वाज बरीड एंड रोज अगेन उसे गाड़ा गया और वो जीवित हुआ एंड जीसस सेड वेवर बिलीव्स अपॉन मी यीशु ने कहा जो भी कुछ पर विश्वास करे लेवर परेश पड़ा इटर्नल लाइफ उसका नाश नहीं होगा लेकिन आनंद जीवन मिलेगा और अगर आप यहाँ से या प्रार्थना कर सकते हैं और विश्वास से तो ये प्रिय ईश्वर मैं पापी हूँ मैं अपने आप को नहीं बचा सकता लेकिन आप आए मेरे पापों के लिए मैं विश्वास करता हूँ कि आप जीवन में आए मेरे जीवन में आए और मुझे बदली और मुझे आपके जैसा बने और मुझे अभिषेक की हेल्प मी टू वॉक इन द स्पिरिट मुझे आत्मा में चलाइए इन जीसस नेम यीशु मसीह के नाम से आमेन आमेन ओके वी क्लोज द सर्विस यार ओके सभा बंद कर दे